Because there's been so much interest in military patches in our last series of videos, I wanted to give you a look at Peter Morgan's world's most complete guide and reference on American military patches. It's a national treasure. It has over 5,000 military patches. Covers a lot of World War I, all of World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Kuwait, Bosnia, Afghanistan, Iraq. If you're at all interested in military patches, I really recommend that you purchase this book as soon as possible. Peter's 90 years old. He donated his patch collection to the University of Missouri. And when the last five or 600 copies of the hardback edition are gone, I think they're gone forever. So it's a great deal. You can find it on Amazon or at Medals of America Press. Major Morgan opens the book with a short history of patches and then a real concise view of the methods of patch manufacturing. And then he moves directly into the patches. The book gets right to it with an Army World War II organizational chart with the representative patches. And then it takes a look at all of the patches for the Army groups and then the armies with many variations. So on the left-hand side, you see the different armies and then the Army Corps. And you can see in this particular case, the various variations of, say, Second Corps. And then we get right into the division patches. It then gets directly into infantry and airborne divisions, starting with the variations of the 1st Infantry Division. And if you look in the center, have you ever seen that old 5th Infantry Division patch? I don't think so. It continues with the infantry and airborne divisions in sequence. So you can see up in the upper left, the 9th Infantry Division variation, and then the 9th Airborne. What? 9th Airborne? Well, all right, that was one of the Phantom of Ghost Divisions. And then the old 10th Division patch and the new 10th Division patch. And you can go all the way through and, well, that page goes through the 26th Infantry, then starting over the 27th, the 28th Infantry. You're starting to get the picture. It's all of the over 100 Army Divisions, including Phantom Divisions, and there's a special layout on those as it goes all the way up through the 108th Infantry Division. And you can see here the different variations of the various divisions. What's super cool about the book, for example, it shows the 1st Infantry Old Pattern for the 101st Infantry Division, and then, of course, the new 101st Airborne Divisions for Combat Assignment and Current Assignment. Then it covers the dozen or so Cavalry Divisions, and if you want variations, take it off and look at all the different variations of the 1st Cavalry Division. <laughs> That'll turn your head. Next comes a display of the Cavalry and Armored Cavalry units in numerical order. And <laughs> let your eyes roam over these. These colorful and historical insignia go all the way up to the 316th Cavalry Brigade. Comes all of the Army ground units from World War II, and then all of the rare coastal artillery patches from World War II. The key Army ground units from World War II, starting with the Antilles Department, and on these pages going all the way to the First Special Service Force, is an amazing display of historical patches. And this continues with other Army ground units, and what is really unique is uh, check out those patches of the OSS and the OSS Special Forces wings and even the bomb disposal personnel patch. Next comes the new Army Major Commands, followed by all of the Civil Affair Brigades and the new Armored Brigades. As I promised for Operation Fortitude, there's a complete summary of all of the Normandy Invasion, Faux Division Armies, Corps, and Divisions. Uh, check out the one on the lower right. Then comes the United States Army Air Force from World War II and all of the numbered air forces. And that is followed by a specialty Army Air Force patches and then even some incredibly unique women's Army service pilot patches and two of the rarest patches you'll ever see, the flying boot and the flying fish patch. You got to look them up. There's some beautiful examples of Army Air Force units, and then you get right into infantry units, starting in numerical order with the 1st Infantry Division, and on the first page, cruising through the 16th Infantry. And then you go on through the 17th Infantry to 31st Infantry Regiment, on to the 34th Infantry, and even down to the 59th Infantry Regiment. And this continues for page after page till you get up to 334th Infantry Regiment, and, well, are the 746 Armored Infantry Battalion. And then we get into the Infantry Brigades. They're listed in numerical order, and the Vietnam vets will recognize the 173rd, the 196th, 
of a 198th Infantry Brigade and a 199th Infantry Brigade, for example. Cover the regimental combat teams and get directly into the Special Forces and the Special Forces Group's ODA patches, which are really fascinating to take a look at. I mean, 5th Special Forces, Black Ops, uh, there's uh, Special Forces patches from, well, Iraq, Afghanistan, even the 12th Special Forces ODA 322. Peter shows all the Special Forces flashes and recognition bars, including the obsolete ones. In their unique sections on scout dog units and long-range reconnaissance patrols and recondo units, followed by a Special Operations Command and then Special Troops and Brigade Combat Teams. And that goes on to more Special Troops and Brigade Combat Teams. And then a really neat page that talks about that there's a unique history behind every one of these patches. There's a unique section on miscellaneous units like, well, presidential service, and then it gets into the airborne unit, and it shows you some great examples of World War II airborne hat insignia. And then you get into all the variations of airborne units, and that's, of course, numerically in order. So you'll see in some places four or five variations of the 501st Airborne Infantry Regiment and the 502nd, 503rd, etc., etc., You'll get a smile out of all the variations of the 509th Airborne Infantry Regiment Stickman patches. And, well, take a look at the 515th Airborne Regiment. Ha, <laughs> there's some cool patches there. And then we get to the Rangers. And here is every Ranger patch starting with World War II up to today's regular Ranger unit in their morale patches. There's a nice section of personnel-related patches, and then you get right into the armored unit, starting with the World War I tanks and uh, the earlier armor corps. And that continues on with various armored units and all of the numbered armored divisions, the 13th Armored Division, the 14th Armored Division, 30th Armored Division. The, uh, it also gets into various armor units. You'll recognize, well, those famous tank destroyer patches from World War II. Incredible listing of armored unit name tabs. I bet you haven't seen that anywhere. And then it goes directly into artillery brigades. And that is followed by more artillery brigades, fire brigades, and then artillery units starting with the 1st Devardi, the 1st Field Artillery Regiment, and then running numerically through all of the artillery units. And you'll be amazed at how much such examples as the 674th Airborne Field Artillery Battalion or the 674th Glider Field Artillery Battalion, and even a lot of World War I field artillery patches. And then there's a really cool section on Army Aviation patches, starting with the 1st Aviation Brigade and running through, well, the 71st Assault Helicopter Battalion, the 101st Aviation Regiment, uh, <laughs> you name it. Almost every one of the Army Aviation patches, and there are some unique patches here. In fact, this shows six pages being overlapped. You finish Army Aviation, it goes right into Civil Air Patrol patches, and then it moves on to Maneuver Enhanced Brigades and Logistical Commands. You get to the Engineers, starting with the 1st Engineer Brigade and going through the 321st Engineer Maintenance Battalion. Just to speed up things, I'll tell you that it continues to move on, and it covers Ordnance and Signal Corps, Transportation Corps. It goes into Medical Units. Uh, including medical dust-off units and helicopters, military intelligence, psychological operations, chemical units, support units. It's amazing. Schools and centers uh, of different academies, all of the tabs that are issued, the military aid and advisory groups, the National Guard and state headquarters. And then, then it gets to something I know everybody wants to see, the historical United States Marine Corps patches. World War II Marine patches start with the 1st Marine Division, goes through all of the units, including all of the fleet Marine forces in the Pacific and the Marine Air Wings, as well as, well, the 13th Defense Battalion, 18th Defense Battalion, and then it gets into some really interesting regimental and unique patches that the Marines still use today uh, to include certain Marine regimental patches. Eight Navy section that covers the CBs, the Construction Battalion, Air and Terrorist Unit, Vietnam Units, SEAL Teams, Special Boat Teams, Assault Craft, and Riverine Forces. 
Then the book wraps up with some very interesting pages on the evolution of different division patches, such as the 1st Infantry Division, the 4th Infantry Division, the 2nd Infantry Division, and so on. It's really a great book. You can find all of those patches, but even more, in Peter Morgan's book on the United States Military Patch Guide. You want to find the new expanded edition. That's the one that you want. You don't want one of the older ones that might have new edition. You'll see those on eBay. This is on Amazon. It's priced really well. And once these are gone, they're no more. Peter's 92. He says he's not doing any more patch books. And he was the American Patch Guru. So, see you next time on Veterans Medals Workshop.